out of all of the evidence for the existence of UFOs, one extraordinary phenomenon continues to astonish and inspire me. The appearance throughout the world of so-called crop circles. These elaborate designs appear mysteriously swirled into crops of grain in such a way that the stalks are bent over, yet remain alive. More than 5,000 of these patterns have appeared in over 30 countries, most of them in England. The media has led many people, including me at first, to write these crop patterns off as hoaxes, the nighttime work of a few pranksters. Of course, there have been faked versions, but those made by human hands are crude compared to the vast majority of these elegant creations. Could hoaxers have created all 5,000 of these patterns? Could a few people with ropes and boards have created something as complex and beautiful as this one, made in the dead of night in a driving rain and leaving no footprints in the soil? The electromagnetic field over the area where the crop's been laid down to create the image is often electrostatically charged. Some of these areas are littered with strange magnetic particles. One of the most amazing crop designs is not a circle, but a rectangle that seems to be a direct response to a message sent out into space in 1974. The message was a radio signal depicting our planet's location in our solar system and Earth's people in hopes that it might be received and interpreted by an extraterrestrial intelligence. 27 years later, in 2001, this crop design appeared in England, along with what could be a self-portrait of the sender. This message matches the format of the NASA signal and describes a different solar system from ours, a picture of the sender, non-human DNA, and a microwave antenna they apparently used to communicate, rather than the radio antenna that we used. The antenna symbol had appeared a year earlier in exactly the same field, right next to a working radio wave antenna, like the one NASA used to send out the original signal. NASA continues to officially deny extraterrestrial contact of any kind. And yet, year after year, these spectacular creations appear. So what might these remarkable designs mean? Here are some two-dimensional versions that seem to be revealing the Taurus in 3D. Here is the vector equilibrium. And the related pattern of 64 that we saw encoded in the arts of so many ancient cultures. When I saw the coherence between the crop circles and the ancient encodings, I thought regardless of whoever created them and wherever they're from, there must be an important purpose to these designs. 
they're so coherent. I've come to believe that the pattern of the torus and the vector equilibrium, especially in the form of the 64 tetrahedron crystal, is showing us how energy works in the universe so that we can learn to align with it. I believe that they're giving us a model for accessing energy in a clean, safe, and limitless way, and a new means of propulsion. What more important message could there be to get to us, and especially now, from their perspective, as we're beginning to extend our careless reach beyond our planet?